Welcome back to Modern Art Blitz, our 75th episode. Mm. Woo! <laughs> hey, hey, the peanut gal is, is gallery plural. If gallery's not plural, then we could say peanut gallery because, well, because the cashew gallery. The cashew gallery. <laughs> okay, the peanut allergies have entered the building. Hey, my guest right now, Lisa C. Soto. How you doing, Lisa? Hey, Matt. Good to be here. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to have you on the show. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm a big fan. I know these are countries, right? No. States. It's one country, many states. One country, many states. So, and so, so, okay, okay, we're looking right at, we're, we're just diving into the art here. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm totally excited. Big fan. This, it's coming off the wall. What's it made out of? Mylar. Mylar. And you've painted the mylar. I've covered it, yes. Covered with it pastels. with what? With pastels, okay. Yeah. So, and th this is each state. Is there an order to it? Did you? Is it like? No, the, it's random. It's just random right. putting together, and you hand cut. Yes, Ugh. each one is hand cut, so okay. it's precisely the shape or the and outline. Scale. No, the scale I really messed with. So the scale. Like Connecticut the, could be bigger case, than Texas. Well, in this case, the scales are very similar, so there's an equality to this one. Ah, each state is yes. equal in size. So but you couldn't a, put together these. You couldn't put them together as a puzzle. No, you couldn't. Okay. Wow. 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 And so. Well, the, no, you know, we couldn't. So it's, it's kind of a political piece. Should the United States aspire to equality? I mean, things like that. There's a lot of conversation in this for sure, including yeah. that one. And it's in the circle. I've changed it and I've done it in more abstract shapes, but this one is in a circle talking about where, who the original people actually are. And so it's just indicating, you know, the circle, unity, and therefore the indigenous people of this country. How big or is pre country? How big is this piece? This piece is about six feet circumference, I would think. Wow. Yeah. I'm always and forgetting. now I originally, I think I saw this, correct me if I'm wrong, at the Beacon Arts Building in Inglewood, you had a studio there, right? I still do. You still do? Yeah, okay. five okay. years, so, so over we, five years now. Oh my God. I know. Oh wow. I love okay. it. So I think I saw this piece there. Is that, was that, yeah? It was up there. Okay. Yeah. Now you've shown like all over the world. A little bit, not a little, everywhere. Uh, parts of the world. Okay, not all over the world. I mean, there's, I'm, you know, that's, yes. I'm going for it. Yes, the the, the Madagascar it. fine art. We'll we'll get we'll get we'll get We're you soon <laughs> soon enough. So so so. But are you an LA native? No. Where are you from? But I was born here, which bo most people don't know. Okay, wait. You were born in in Southern I was California. Born in LA. Wow. Yes. And, and but, when I was a few months old, we moved back to New York. My okay. parents are from Harlem, and then we moved to the south of Spain. And oh. then back to New York. So I grew up in both South of Spain, spent my childhood there, right across the waters from Morocco, and then um, came back to New York, and then we were back and forth. So are you a New Yorker? So are you a New Yorker? I am a global child. Oh, okay. Yes. No regionalism here. I am not patriotic in that way. I am definitely, um, I am a New Yorker in the sense when I go to New York, you see that, you, you see that I do become, I plug in. You know how to walk I, a crow, like, I, I, can, I can jaywalk like I a New Yorker. I am that, and I have the aggression, and I have the speed, and I, I think faster, I move faster. Um, but that's why you moved to L.A., so you can just be dumb and have fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a different pace. Yeah, that's, oh, it's man. It's a different pace, but there's oh. an advantage about being a New Yorker and living in L.A. What's the advantage of being a New Yorker living in L.A.? You're naturally moving faster. You're moving so faster you're, than everyone? You can get a lot more done, and really? there's less competition. There's, less, there's more support here, less competition. More support. So New York is not a supportive environment uh, for an artist? Overall, no. If you find your tribe, your pockets, then yes, um, you can have that. But overall, no, it's very competitive. Everybody feels like there's room for just one space and who's going to get that space. Wow. Um, I and mean, I think that New York is kind of notorious for that. It's changed and it's, it's not just that. That's obviously a generalization, but I would think, and especially compared to LA, there's a real supportive environment here that I find really interesting and, and much more productive and conducive. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to do something about that. We can't have that at all. <laughs> oh, no, no. I want you all fighting. Okay, so what are, what are we looking at here? Okay, so this is the most recent um, work that I have up now at the, Cal at the um, Craft and Folk Art Museum, and um, right across the street from LACMA. And it's in a group show, show called Material for Metaphor. Or metaphor as material? Why am I forgetting? Material as metaphor. Um, Suzanne Iskin, the director of CAFAM, um, curated this show. 
And so this piece is in, my work is just in this room, separate from the rest, but it is part of the, the larger room with everybody else's work. So the person is the just hands. there, is, the person is just in this for scale, So right? I'm in there just right. Okay, for, okay. Well, I also find, so my work is really actually hard to photograph, so I find that um, video is better and having someone there. So when I saw this picture of myself looking at my work when, it was, when I had just finished installing it, I realized you could actually see the installation better. So you're looking at bullets kind of flying through the air. It's bullets and string. And I'm, oh, okay, so okay, okay. that's what okay. you're seeing. Wow. And then um, what I'm looking down at are the caps from the bullets. Ah. And so the caps are kind of the essential part that makes the bullets. Um, ah. With lethal. How, how many how many bullets are in there? I don't know because I have a pile of bullets in the corner. Okay. And then there's another pile that you can't see in this photo in the other corner that many, kind of looks many, like candy. How so many in the air? In the air, I never counted. It never even occurred to me to count this. But now I'm thinking about that, Matt, and Ooh. saw your fault. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, get OC. <laughs> now, now I got to go Don't there and look for this. <laughs> so uh, speaking of video, this is a. So here's a video, right, wow. of um, a piece that I did. At the, I like that, <laughs> like your movement <laughs> okay. in there, because it is kind of like being in outer space. And I did that at Gallery 825 a number of years ago. Oh. So the images I'm showing you today are just what I've done in LA. Or not everything I've done, but mostly what I've done in LA. Okay, so I, I remember just thought I'd stay yeah. LA centric for yes. this show, for your special show. Well, it's an, we're an LA based show. You are. You're an international art star, but you're bringing, you're bringing us the, the, the survey of your work here. So are these buttons? What are these? Those are actually, um, they all come from the hardware store. Those are washers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so, so are you, were, was this work aspiring to be abstract? Was there, was there anything about, I mean, was there content in this outside of the formal beauty? Well, it's kind of like the Big Bang. Oh. So if you start, you'll see as the video continues, it'll get larger. So there's about 206 one foot by one foot mirrors that I placed on the floor. Oh, okay, okay. And you're starting to see the reflection of yeah. this piece underneath. Okay. And now you're starting to see the room. Once okay. we disappear out of it, you might see it Here, better. take us out so we can see. Oh, oh no, take us oh, out. Oh. There we go. <laughs> hey, hey. So that's the piece itself. So it has this web, it's kind of like this web, this kind of big bang. It's, it's, a re it's really experiential. And that's what most of my work is, which is, again, hard to see in video or, or photos. But there is a real feeling that you experience, and it's different feelings for different people. And so there's an energy, it's kind of a vortex kind of thing. I call all my work force fields. It's the force best fields. way to explain the work. No, no. Or cloaks. You showed in Chinatown a couple years ago. Where else have you shown in, in, uh, in Los Angeles? Well, I showed at, well, this is a video of me making this piece for the California African American Museum. Oh, for the, I made that quilt for the big show there. Um, for the, the show that Mar Hollingsworth, she curated two years ago now. And it was like geometric and abstraction? Yes, exactly. Okay, yes, yeah. Exactly. Oh, so this is time lapse. And so this is, right, this is a time lapse piece of me making, because sometimes it's more fun to is that kind of see me crocheting or knitting? So this is crocheting, it's one needle. Okay. And I'm crocheting out of wire two quilts. And wow. they are about, one is 20, 12 by 7 feet, and the other one's slightly smaller. And then this back one was attached to a filament that was attached to a motor, making it move gently. Okay, okay. And this, it took up a lot of space. Yes, but you that, can see the, me the show was epic there. And, and, and expansive. So, you're, I mean, your piece, you know, there was a lot of big pieces in there. So, right. so usually, you know, you go to the galleries, a lot of little small pieces, everybody, right. but this allowed everybody to just let it all out, right? Yes. And uh, do, you, do, you, do you prefer to work in that big of a scale? I, I tend to gravitate yeah. towards large. Epic. I definitely have a lot of small sculptures and wall-bound sculptures as well, or sculptures you can hang and put in a corner. Um, and they work and have their own sense of power as well. But I do really enjoy working big. Yeah. That requires it a big space. It works for me. I understand. There's something about working with architecture, and the work lends itself to architecture. Did, did that you I have really to go down? Enjoy. Did you go to Cam and like say, okay, I got I, I to yeah, have it here? Yeah, she asked me to do it in this space. I wanted to, okay. me to think about that. I said yes, and then I created the work based on that. Space. Now, can that work exist outside of that site-specific space? Yes, it can. Yes, it can adapt. Okay. 
So in case, you know, because I'm always thinking, how do we sell this thing, right? Right, yeah, <laughs> so, no, okay. absolutely. Because site-specific work, it's like, yeah, we're going to sell it to you, but you have to keep it here. That doesn't right. really, no, that's no. not too popular. But that's the fun part about the work is that it actually will continue to adapt. So that, sp that piece can be adapt to this space, and then it can go into other space, and it'll start to kind of morph. Okay. And El Anatsui's work is like that, actually. Yeah. His, and he wants that. That's something he's in, he does intentionally. And I find that really quite interesting. Few people aspire, few people who make site-specific work aspire to have it be that flexible, though. So that's, I, I mean, really love the flexibility. You're pushing and territory this is, here. And this your is, question, another space in LA. Oh, okay, yeah. At the uh, Museum of Architecture is and there, Design. Is this their old space? A few years ago. This is their old okay, space, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Across the street oh, from LACMA there, again, actually. Wow, okay. Oh, yes, we were supposed to take all that stuff out, but I forgot ah, to. Ah, where, where's Mac <laughs> Mooney when you need it? I forgot to direct that, but okay. anyway, here we go. Okay, oh, I remember this piece, too. Wow, wow, wow. So this, and again, now these yeah. are not washers, though. We're, oh, where are we so go? So those these are, are, so that's mylar. Those are actually hand-cut pieces oh, of mylar wow. from the series I was doing before of these imaginary islands. And then I started to create this work based on those shapes and created what I call, this is called chronological crossings, this installation. Wow. And so um, it's, and then hand-sewn. So it's a little bit, of, you know, so, compulsive. so so when you think about crossings, I mean, how much content, or how much do I read into this? I mean, do I just you're, enjoy you're it? You're thinking as... about the world. You're yeah. thinking about all the interconnectivity okay. of the world. And you can see in, the, in some of the shots where um, there are these sort of wire nests nestled in there. And so those are like those points of connection communities. And then the lines are then kind of going back and forth between these different communities and spaces and then you can wow. go on from there about Ooh. the way we think and so on and interconnecting you can think about the web as well but it's also for my work it's always culturally based oh yeah and it's it's inter it's the interaction of humans so there's always this the, i'm using very industrial materials as we see it has this kind of ephemeral feeling to it, but there is this micro and macro aspect to it, but there's always a human story in all of my pieces. How do you recreate this, or can you, or is it just, it's, it's, just, it's over? I just look at a new space and then I adapt it. But it's so got you, that flexibility. Do you have, all, you have all the wires? I have all the pieces. It's just thread and okay. mylar, that's it. Okay, so you, and so they're ready to go. You could, yeah. you, could, you could put this somewhere else. Now, oh, yeah. So do you create, do you, um, I don't want to use the word, uh, recycle pejoratively, but do you do you, do you take these works and and put them at other places, or do you are you still on the rolling Sometimes. where you're where you're creating new work for new places? I'm always creating new works. Yeah. So the bullets are new, but they, I had created this other piece, this column of empty shells that I called that was like ten feet high, uh -huh. and so that is um, something that I might be putting in in a new show coming up. So there is repetition in terms of the materials, but. Um, but sometimes it's, it really works to take that same work and then put it in a new space or take that material and recreate or create new work from it. Mm. So it kind of has like this history now from this old piece into this new piece. But if somebody buys it, you can't say, oh, excuse no, me, can it. I take some stuff no, from here? No, 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 okay, okay. That's what so I do. What are we looking at things. here? So this is um, me working in Ghana. So I did a residency there. In Ghana? In Ghana. We're talking so about, we're, Ghana. we're not talking, there's not like a so, city named so Ghana in Ohio. Yeah. This is. Everything's LA, but I wanted to add this okay, one so this point, because Ghana's become very Ghana, important. West Africa. This is West Africa, this okay, is Ghana. Okay, so you've been to Ghana. Did you stay at Todd Gray's house? At, you know? This is it. This is where <laughs> everybody we're talking I know about. Been to, everybody I know who goes to Ghana stays at Todd Gray's house. I, well, I, I, I picture it as this like hotel. <laughs> it, it's a pretty awesome place to stay. You want to stay there if you can. But yeah, my friend Jamal Tolbert, he's an artist, and he knew that um, um, Kyun Mi, his, Todd's wife, and Todd were now um, just recently telling friends, artist friends, that if they wanted to use their space as an artist residency and they could get there, they would write them the letter and um, get them the visa. And, and then who's working with me there is Samson and Yankee. So they're always on the grounds and they're there with you. Cool. And it's such an amazing experience, I can't even tell you. So Jamal was supposed to go with this other artist, April Bay. And she found out about it through Jamal and she could, they couldn't go at the same time. So she went earlier, and then Jamal and I went a month later. A April was on the show talking. She's obsessed with Ghana. She's going back. Yeah, I'll be there in August. Really? The whole month. So yeah, it's, it's, I it's went a, back, actually, after this. It's a fun place. So it's, it's, a, 
it's an amazing place. It's more than fun. It's more that it's got everything. It's got all the aspects. We were we were talking um, before the show, and you've never been to Las Vegas, but no. you've been to Ghana. Yes. That's so. That's, since I've lived in LA, I've actually been. I've not been to Mexico, Hawaii, or Vegas, but I've been to Beirut for the first time. I've been to Ghana twice already. I'm going a third time. Wow. I've been, like somehow, Beirut. you know, whatever is closest to you is like what you don't pay attention wow. to. Wow. Beirut. Where do you stay in Beirut? I, it was a, it was a very, it was a fun trip. Yeah. I just stayed at a hotel there. Oh, you stayed at a hotel? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, wow. That was a great wow. trip. Do you need a visa to get to Beirut? No. No? No. Just show you up. Just, if you have the endurance of 24 hour traveling, then you can oh, go. They're just happy to see you. They're happy to see you. Yeah. Beirut's an amazing, amazing. Wow, wow, wow. City. So, so tell me, you have a discussion series. I do. So, so not just making art, talking about art. Yes. What, what, who do you talk about? Who do you talk uh, about art with in this discussion series? And where does it take place? I'm not talking. So oh. that's the first thing. Oh, okay. So, okay. The, so I created a conversations and about the same time you created this. So in November, 2015, I what? had my very first conversations. You said December, we started December, 2015 here. Yeah. So this is great. Everybody, everybody wants to have we conversations had, yeah, about art. Exactly. So I did it in my studio as a series of 12. I'm ending it with me speaking. So finally, it'll be me and Lita Albuquerque speaking next week. I think we're doing it. Cool. And that'll be the end of 12 sessions or 12 conversation. So what I do is I asked a friend, um, so I asked like my friend Glenn Wilson, who's a photographer, artist, and I asked him if he would have a conversation, invite someone that he knows that he's close to, and it has to be a woman. So if I ask a man, he has to choose a woman. If I ask a woman, she can choose whoever she wants. Okay. And um, they have to be close. They have to have a bond. That's the other thing. Preferably, they have different disciplines so that there's something dynamic in, in that conversation. And they, um, I set up the studio. You know, they have the chair is the whole thing, and the projector, etc. They come and they have their discussion, and they either go back and forth, or one does their thing, the other one does the other thing, and then they ask each other questions. But um, and then I cook. So that's oh, the other whoa, aspect. So okay. Oh, now, yes, okay. That's not just a panel, but, right. not just another one of those boring art panel discussions that's very here. Important. You're going to eat. All You're right. You're going to eat. All right. I'm what's, Puerto Rican Jamaican, so Ooh, this is what we do. What's, what's for dinner next so, week? So I have to figure that you have, out. You haven't got the menu? You got Lee, wow, yet. Lita's coming. That's uh, Art World Royalty. Yeah. You're going to have to have some you know, very exclusive cuisine there. Jeez, wow. Oh, so so, so now you're finishing in your studio, but it's it's... It's so going to live on. Studio. So, and the other part was that I did not invite any curators, collectors, gallerists. It was only for creatives, only for artists, their family, friends. Um, but I didn't want the art world per se in there. I wanted to create an intimate space. Out. Get out, right out. art world. We don't <laughs> want any art world in here. But I did want to create this really intimate space of equity and. Um, Truth telling, you know, just you, where you feel, where you don't feel like you have to curate what you're saying because of who's coming. As a truth teller, you you do it no matter who's around. I can tell you, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's a truth telling in the art world gets you almost nowhere. Uh, I, I, it's it's bad decision. Is that what you found out? It, it, I found out the hard way. The, the <laughs> art world is, is actually art happened? is illusion. We create you, you create illusions. Nobody really want, they're here because they don't want the truth. They yeah. can't handle the truth. Well, okay. yeah, art is this whole so, oh other yeah. dimension. This Let me kind tell of you, you cr you're God when you make your peace. You're God of that universe. So, so, so where is where is the series going to live on? So, um, Naima Keith asked me if I would do a short version in um, the California African American Museum at Wow. Cam. So we're going to to start it in September. And they, so it's and they for have the fall. food trucks. We're just going to do four. And they have food trucks there, so you, you're I'm cooking. You're still cooking. St I'm st Ooh. we're still doing it the same way, yeah. except that the cam staff are allowed to come. But again, it's a space of just for creatives, and it's magical. Every time we've done it, it's magical. Wow. And then I actually um, was asked to curate 
a show um, downtown. Did you come next to the brewery? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was at the, um, at the, it's at the brewery, the East Side Internationals. Exactly. Yeah, it was a great show. Right, and so that show was curated based on the artists that were participating in these conversations. Oh, okay, that makes, okay, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of layers there, and there's a lot of people in the. I mean, the, the op was one of those openings where it was that like, was great. Push through, say hi to Lisa, get out of here, oh good. god. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But great, it worked. Yeah. Great and attendance, and because uh, you're kind of becoming like a big art star, everybody was there to like be like, you know. That was for the artists and their work. Really? It was, yeah. Absolutely. Ah, well, like like I said, illusion works great <laughs> in the art world. See what happens when you tell the truth. Oh no. <laughs> so so, uh, do you have any shows coming up? I do actually. So I have the show up now at CAFAM and then I will be doing, I will be part oh, the, of the, the, you have the, you have the show at the Craft and Folk Art Museum right it's now across now, from LACMA. Right, up and until when's August that? 20th. Through, through August 20th. Right. And it's a group show, big group it's show. It's a group show upstairs and Betty Starr has a solo show down on the, oh, Mandatory so attendance. Happy. Yes, mandatory, mandatory attendance. Oh my god. Yeah, Betty Her, Star at, and then and then you get the bonuses. You're uh, actually that's probably good for you relative to being in a group show at anywhere is Just to have to this like must see vicinity. show. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's so great. That's, that's great. Cool. And that's getting a lot of foot traffic. Everybody's talking about it. It's so nice. that's great to be yeah. that's great that's to be there. So so yeah. so what else is coming up? Um, I'm going to be part of PSTLA LA. Wow. So Congratulations. Cool. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Oh, did they, did you have to go through like some Getty initiation? No, no. I did a They don't they don't have like a cult that you have to join? No. <laughs> no. Okay. It seems like it though, yeah. right? Yeah. No, like, wow. like how do you get in? Wow. Where, well, where, where? I did a talk in New York City at the Ford Foundation through okay. Teresita Fernandez, a symposium about um, the invisibility of US-based Latino artists or Latinx artists. And so, and I gave a talk. Teresita invited me to speak about my experience as an Afro-Latina artist that was cute. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> and, um, and uh, and uh, my my perspective on this invisibility and that it is very real and no one's really talking about it and she created this really beautiful elegant and well-spoken symposium about this there was this curator named Tatiana Flores and she asked me to be part of PSTLALA. -LA. So I had to do a talk in New York at the Ford Foundation wow. in order to get into... To show in your own so backyard. This is how you get in. That's how you get in. You go talk in New York. You so, got to right, yap there. To, oh, yeah. You go 3,000 miles away, <laughs> so, do a talk and then... To show five miles away. Right, to show, exactly. So I'm showing at MOLA. At so MOLA? Oh, yeah. wow. Great, so great, I've great. never shown there, you know, or even actually been there at the museum. Ooh. <laughs> We're live! Shut up. Like, Nobody wants the truth. I go there all the time, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so and, and Latin America. Does that open in September? And it opens September sixteenth. Oh man, a lot. Oh man, that's and September. I'm really excited. Is... Like Ebony Patterson's part of this. Like, there's amazing artists that she's putting me with, and I'm really just really thankful for it and very excited. So, September. Yeah. This it's September with the Getty thing is going to be like a traffic jam good. in the art world. Oh, We're yes. at, at my gallery. We have a Getty initiative for the galleries and. We're opening Labor Day weekend to just, okay, we're open now. Okay, good. And everybody else, good. You want to come early? Oh, we're already open. You should have come, right. you know? And then we'll stay open for four months with our show and just, right. and yeah, right. I, and then just go to everybody else's openings. So, yeah. It's yeah. going to be crowded. Yes. Uh -uh. People are going to be honking <laughs> in the galleries. Get out of my way. I got another gallery to go to. Okay. So, well, Lisa, it has been an absolute pleasure. I'm so glad that uh, I got you as a guest. Thank on Modern you. Art Blitz, I'm honored. I'm honored to have you, and and your career is blowing up. We're all oh. we're all just we're all big fans. You okay, you're a great supporter. Thank you so much, well, Matt. I I'm, really do appreciate I, it. You know, I you're one of my side. favorites. I say this as a fan. Real supporter. You're one of my favorites. So, all right. Um, hey, we do this every Sunday live at 5 p.m. Pacific time. We stream live on DroneBox.com. This is Modern Art Blitz. My name is Matt Gleason. Thanks for joining. Look, we're on a green screen. Green screen. See you next week. <laughs>